Can we tell the difference between generic and name brand food products? Welcome to today. <laughs> With his hands. Um, yep. And we're going to see if we can guess to see if it is a name brand food or if it is a generic. And we are going to see if we like generic or name brand food better. So we got Walmart Great Value brand. And then we have the legit actual brand it is. And then also we have some oldie brand stuff. So it could be... We got a spectrum of things to try. Round one. Bring me my Pop-Tart. Is it Pop Tarts first round? Pop Tarts! Please feed me. What flavor? Strawberry Frosted. Hold on. I gotta grab Grady's. Oh. He forgot you. It's okay. Most people do. Oh. Oops. Mm. That's number one. What do you think? Mm. I love strawberry pop tarts. Um, I'm going generic. You don't have to tell me yet. Oh, we're finding the name mm. brand. I don't know if you said that. Figuring out the name brand. The name brand. Do you like that one? Okay. We're not figuring out. If it's good. Generic or what do you? Th I mean, I think it's generic. Well, why do you think that? This is a different one? This is a different one. How does it taste? What are you feeling? The second taste... one's a little bit more crunchy. Yeah, more crunchy. And it feels like you can taste the uh, sparkles. Is there only two options? There's three for this one. Okay. Oh. Uh, one more. Oops. Okay. So when you're ready, I will three, two, one, and you guys will tell me either one, two, or three is the Kellogg's Pop Tarts. I'm ready. Do you have a guess? I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Three, two, one. Two. Number three. Great. Do you say two? You say number three? Yeah, number mm -hmm. three had the most flavor. I think the number three had just a little bit off of a flavor. It was good flavor. It's just, it's just not. I don't, I just don't taste the fullness of the actual strawberry pop tart so i say number two all right i think number one was aldi and then number three is great value the kellogg's pop tart is number two no the first one you had was great value and the last mm. one was aldi wow aldi. aldi you want to take off your blindfold you can see the difference what difference <laughs> well if this was great value sprinkles the sprinkles are pretty uh, sprinkly. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I liked Aldi's the most. Aldi was really good. I do like that one. But I love the crunchiness of the sprinkles. So that's why I really do like the regular name brand Kellogg's. So. I, the amount of filling in Aldi's is so much more. Mm -hmm. Like it's actually like plump. Yeah. I do like Aldi brand a lot. They're so good. Round two. Next up, we have some Cheez Its. Mm, I like Cheez Its. I grab Grady's. What is in my. Oh, those are Cheez Its. I just shoveled my elbow into a pile of Cheez Its. Alright. Okay. Yours mixed. I don't oh. like that. Sorry. Open your mouth and throw it in. Ah, my tooth. Ah. Mm. Um. I feel so more right here. Those are the other ones. Right here. And this is the next ones? Oh, no, these are the first ones. These are the first ones? 
Got a big crunch. Okay. 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 It's salty, but not cheesy. You know the second one? Nope. Right here. Right here. Right here. Okay. Okay. That's the second one still. Okay. What do you notice about that? It's cheesier. Yeah. The first one was crunchier. Mm hmm. And saltier. Mm hmm. This one is definitely cheesier. Alright, open wide for the last one. Ow! <laughs> Cheesy est? Hmm. This is really hard. These all taste like if I was digging in a box and I didn't see the box brand out of all, I would assume they're all just regular name brand Cheez Its. I think I have my answer though. I think I do too. I think, I think number one. Well, let's three, two, one. one. Number two. The Cheez It brand was number two. Yes! That was the most pungent, cheesy fra well, like flavor. The thing is, I was trying to think of, like, whole wheat. Because I know we have the whole wheat regular Cheez-Its, and I felt like that was regular number one. But. Oh. <laughs> so, number one was Savor It. That's the Aldi brand. Okay. Okay. Number two was Cheez-It, and number three great, was Great Value. Great Value has some good ones. Great yeah. Value looks a lot different. I'll show great you. Values, I think, was... I like Second that one the best. most. Like, Mine was definitely cheese it Great value it seemed like it blended the two. It was like an in-between. So you are a great value. Oh, they're, they're super thin. Like a little yeah. thin cracker. That's why I don't like to feel them. Huh. Great values is good. Mm -hmm. Like, if you have to buy cheese its and you don't want to spend the extra 12 cents, do it. Mm-hmm. It's worth it. I could eat these all day. Round three. three. Next up, we have Chips Ahoy! Oh, cookies. I like cookies. And this is chewy, right? We only have, yep, we only have two options on this one. Okay. So, feed you contents number one. Mmm. That's chewy. Do you guys prefer chewy to crunchy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do too. Kind of dry, though. Mm hmm. You can taste the molasses. It's not terrible, though. I do like it. Hmm. You could see me down in a whole box. Mm -hmm. We're doing a line. Oh, uh, yep, yep. Alright, here's the second one. Your tongue is disgusting. Mm. Wait, for your gu wait to give me your guess until I count down. Mm -hmm. Got it. There's a clear winner here. Yep. Three, two, one. Number two. two. It's easily the most chocolatey, delightful thing. Yep. The name brand value is number one. What? <laughs> you know, it's garbage. <laughs> Compared to great value? Holy balls. It's night and day. Brandon, you need to taste both of those. It is an obvious difference. So here's the one. This is what I give you first. This is what I give you second. These look not as finished. Which I do enjoy more. Chips Ahoy. You gotta step up your game. Great value coming for you. It's so much better. Like, not even just a little. Yeah, this is, I mean, it's fine. It's nothing special, though. Mm. Four. Four. This time we are tasting the most American thing we can think of. American cheese. That sliced cheese wrapped in plastic. You know, when I think of American cheese, I think straight to mac and cheese. It's just such a good comfort cheese. You know, it's very soft. It's got a, nice, a lot of flavor to it. And, you know... Why is American cheese... Like, everywhere else in the world does not like it. 
It's because it's mostly – it's not real cheese, in yeah, my yeah. opinion. It's not like your beautiful Gruyere or Gorgonzola or blue cheese or even cheddar. It's just kind of a cheap cheese but when if, it comes to cheese. But people – like there's certain circumstances where you should be definitely only using that style of cheese because it's – it melts. It's creamy. It's it's very creamy. It melts very well. Um, I do like when there is a mixture of cheeses in my mac and cheese. So I do like American cheese mixed with cheddar cheese. I think that makes. Oh, have you, Applebee's has my favorite mac and cheese oh. with that the uh, like a honey honey, oh, yeah. honey chicken. Yes, oh, yes, that is my word. Stuff. I want honey chicken mac and cheese now mm-hmm. at Applebee's. Yeah. Thank you for filibustering. Yes. I'm ready to give you cheese. Please feed me cheese. I'll, I would like to say we have Target, Walmart, and name brand Kraft. Okay. Those are the choices here. Probably the grossest thing anyone's ever fed me. You fed me pickles and A1 sauce and ketchup. True. On Oreos, right? Yeah. Or no, it was jerky. It was with jerky. Alright, that's number one. Like number two, I think this is gonna be hard. Yuck. I'm put it. I just had a bloody nose. I'm ready for number three. Yeah, please. Hey, my daddy. I think I have my answer. I think so, too. This is for the win. You guys are tied. I think I'm kind of stuck between two, but I think I have my answer. I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one. one. Number one. It's number three. It's either one or three. Yeah. Number two is disgusting. Yeah, it's gross. Is that, you want to stick with one? I'll go to three. I'll Just... stick with one. The Kraft Singles cheese is number three. Oh. Yes! Wow. Which one was number two? Yeah. That's Target. Target's cheese. No, I'm sorry. Walmart. It's bad. It's not good. Oh, that was a great value. The number one was Market Pantry. The texture of number two was just so... It wasn't even... like when It, it, was, it tasted... It had the texture of just plastic. Yeah. Whereas the actual Kraft flavor... The Kraft brand... They had it, it melted a lot more. So this is Walmart, Target, and then you can see like how this is Kraft. How Kraft really? is like white almost compared to these other ones. I was thinking this would be something on the line. That's Target. You can, of, like, I noticed the oranges of Target. Yeah, which is kind of strange because you know, I mean, it does have good flavor. But Target would be the second one I would take for sure. It's yeah. actually pretty good. Whereas, <laughs> great value, honey. Did you notice the great value one wasn't very good? Yeah, it was not good. It was not good at all. Like, and I, I'll eat pretty much anything. I don't think I will buy great value cheese again. I mean, it's. I'm sure it's fine on a sandwich, but yeah. just eating regular. It's not I, my cup of tea. No. Oh no, I don't. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Do hit that like button and hit that little bell so so you can keep up on all the latest videos that are released. If you do have any more ideas, leave a comment and we'll take a look at it and see if we can add it into another video. That's so cheesy. Welcome to today. Welcome to today. Have a great day.